Hey, Mr. Pawn Boss, tell me how. Hey, Mr. Pawn Boss, let's do it now. Hey, Mr. Pawn Boss, you're the one that makes fishing so much fun. Well, I woke up this morning and I headed for my pond. Meet Mr. Pond Boss, yeah, we're gonna chase the sun. Scientists call water the universal solvent. It's an amazing substance. You know, anything that can dissolve into water will. And that includes what's going on in your pond. As a matter of fact, never do we ever come across water that's pure, ever. Like this water here, it's got lots and lots of calcium, it's got some magnesium, and it's got iron. The majority of this water in this pond comes from a well, actually, to keep it full. I want to talk to you a little bit about the physical parameters of water. Uh, water at 39 degrees is the most dense that it will ever be. As it gets cooler, it expands. As it gets warmer from 39 degrees, it expands. That's why ice floats, if you ever thought about that. Ice floats on top of your, your iced tea glass or on top of your pond. The water below it has to be warmer than 32 degrees or it would be ice. So those parameters there, that's one of the things that keeps fish alive in the northern states. You get 18 inches of ice on top of a pond. The water below, down at the bottom, is almost 40 degrees, and fish like that. At the same time, as we get into summer months, late spring, early summer, water stratifies. Heat comes in from the sun, wind and waves push the heat down as far as it can go, and it can't go down really very far, maybe half as deep as the pond or the lake is. So what happens is the heat wants to rise, it wants to leave. And when that happens, the pond stratifies. It's like a layer cake. You'll get a warm layer sitting on top of a cold layer. That cooler layer at the bottom quickly runs out of oxygen because of bacteria and, and other microbial action that's going on down there that consumes the oxygen. Well, since that water is, can't contact the atmosphere and has really no plants growing in it, it can't generate oxygen. So that's an outstanding reason to consider aeration. Now, a little caveat there. If you do choose to aerate, work with somebody that knows what they're talking about. Because if you, if you turn on an aeration system in a pond that's stratified and you take all that dead water from the bottom and mix it with the top layer, you're going to cause problems with your fish, even a fish kill. So be thoughtful about that. Now just keep in mind that water is the medium in which your fish grow. You want good, clean, happy, healthy water. And that's your big tip for today. Pay attention to your water quality, pay attention to your water chemistry, and understand the physical parameters about water, and you'll be a much, much better pond manager. To raise a big old honking moss back Line breaking tack tearing up moss back Hey Mr. Pond Boss tell me what to do To make all my Lunker Lake dreams come true